So Windows 10 is about to get shut down this year. What does that mean? Well, you'll be able to use it if you have it installed on your system or on your laptop, but it will stop receiving these Windows Defender updates. And any kind of Windows update which will fix any kind of bugs or system vulnerabilities. Yes, Microsoft wants you to upgrade to Windows 11 so badly even though it is either not officially supported on your hardware or it just results in performance regression. So what's the middle ground here? Can you somehow extend the support of Windows 10? Well, the answer is yes you can. Is it legal? Um, that's not something we're gonna talk about. Is it safe? 100%. Even Microsoft employees have been caught using this website, which I'm going to mention in this video. Well, the middle ground here is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTS Edition. And as you can see in the name itself, that it's meant for enterprise users who pay extra for the extended support of this version of Windows. Without activation and a license key, this version is only going to be installed on your PC for 90 days and then it's going to break itself. But don't you worry, we are going to activate it all right. In this video, we are going to install this Windows 10 IoT Enterprise in a virtual machine, but you can follow along if you are installing it on your PC or laptop because you know, the process is pretty much the same. The ISO file can be downloaded on the website masgrave.dev. And here you can see in the download windows and office section, the Windows 10 and 11 LTSC versions are listed here. And again, they are safe as you can verify it with the checksums on the official Microsoft website. Click on the LTSC link and then scroll down a bit and then select Windows 10 LTSC 2021. This version of Windows is supported till 2032 by the way. Download it for your preferred language and I'm just gonna go with English. Okay, and once the download is finished, let's download something using which we will flash this ISO to the USB storage device. Now, I have covered Ventoy previously on this channel before and it's good. But for Windows, Rufus is really good and I'll tell you why in a minute. Just search for Rufus on your browser or visit this link and it will be in the description below and then download Rufus for Windows. Since the ISO's file size was 4.5 GB, you will need a flash storage with at least 8 GB storage capacity. And insert it in your PC and then launch Rufus. Select the ISO file from here and let it scan the ISO file. Then click on start. And this extra menu is why we have selected Rufus instead of Ventoy or Etcher. We can directly configure things like username, skip data collection questions and disable BitLocker device encryption from here. So our installation is going to be just a tad bit faster. Click OK and then your USB device will be flashed with the ISO. Now, once the ISO is flashed, you have to find out what's the key for your motherboard to access the BIOS menu. You can search it on Google, but it is usually between escape, F2, F10 or F12 key on the keyboard. So insert the USB drive, restart your PC and when the PC is booting up, press the required key. Now look for the boot settings and then make sure that you boot from the plugged in USB device and not from the internal SSD. And when you first boot up Windows ISO, you will be greeted with the following screen. Just select your language and time and currency format and your keyboard layout if you want to customize it and then click on install now. When asked for a license key, just select I don't have a license key and then proceed with the installation. Then finally select your edition of Windows. It is going to be Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. Just select that one and hit next and then accept the license terms of using this uh, edition of Windows. If you have installed Windows 10 previously on your system, then you will also be greeted with this additional screen, which is asking you whether to upgrade Windows or just custom install it. And this custom install will format all the data. And I will recommend you to do a custom install and not upgrade because usually that upgrade means you're downgrading to Windows 10 version of 2021. And obviously if you have Windows 10 installed, you will have several updates on top of it since 2021. So do a custom install, it will be safe and make sure you back up your data and then restore it afterwards. Now select your drive on which you want this Windows 10 to get installed and then let the installer proceed normally.
if you have used the rufus method to flash the iso then you will not be greeted with this screen which is asking me to select my region and all but uh, i'm in a virtual machine so i'm gonna select my region and then in the next screen i'm also gonna select my keyboard layout and if you have selected the rufus method then you will also not be greeted with this screen as it will create a local account for you but if you have not used the rufus method just make sure you turn off your wi-fi or disconnect the ethernet cable from your pc and then click on the domain join instead button at the bottom left and what that is going to do is it will help you to create a local account instead rather than signing up with a microsoft account it is generally better for your privacy since it is an enterprise edition you should not provide any kind of email here anyway so again it is asking me all kind of privacy related question you won't encounter it if you have used the rufus and at this step you can just connect your ethernet cable back in there as it will download all kind of drivers etc so now i'm here windows 10 iot enterprise edition is actually installed and as you can see i connected my internet back and let it just download any kind of updates and all as uh, this may result in installing driver for any kind of hardware you have attached to your pc such as printer or anything else well since the update is downloading let's actually see the cpu processes it is actually quite low it's just at 129 processes as we can see in the task manager and the memory usage is actually quite low as well it's at 1.9 gb which is really low for a windows 10 installation and it looks good it looks lightweight it is snappy it is fast and don't worry after the update downloads we're gonna debload this installation as well as windows does collect telemetry and then we are going to activate this version of windows it is not legal it is in the gray area but it is safe because microsoft employees have been caught using this method so once the update is downloaded and you may have restarted your PC, just open PowerShell as admin and then type IRM Christitis.com IEX and what this is going to do is run a script which is going to help us debloat this already lightweight Windows 10 edition. As you can see from this new window, you can install any kind of application from the first screen itself such as VLC or um, anything else. Go to the update section and then click on the security updates only as that is going to delay any kind of updates which is bug ridden and all and it will get applied after two weeks. So that is really helpful uh, in the case you want extremely stable windows experience. Next come to the tweak section and then click on standard, minimal or any kind of tweaks you prefer and this is helpful as it will apply dark mode and all and disable telemetry as well for various other brands other than Microsoft as well such as Adobe and it can also disable automatic razor software install so it is pretty good and after you have selected everything that you need come at the bottom and click on the run tweaks option. So once the tweaks are installed, as you can see, I have applied dark mode, even though my windows is not activated with this tweak tool and then come to the install section and select any kind of application which you want to install. For example, Firefox, I want that on my install. Uh, I don't want to use Edge or Chrome or anything else. And then I want an image viewer application because Microsoft's Photos app is not available here. And I'm also going to install VLC as that's the preferred media player. You can even select 7-zip or WinRAR for extracting various zip files. So just select what you need and then click OK. I'm going to use Chocolaty as the backend. I don't like Winget. So first Chocolaty will install and then the other software which I have selected will get installed and if at any step it appears stuck to you on your PC just press enter on this blue PowerShell window and it will get unstuck I don't know why that happens probably it needs a reboot so you can also try rebooting after applying Windows updates and all so it doesn't get stuck now all the things are installed and one thing this tweak tool does is it disables uh, real-time protection of Windows Defender because Microsoft flags this as virus even though it's not so after running this tweak tool just open defender and then just turn on virus protection once you have done that just open your web browser i have installed libreville 
I'm going to go to masgrave.dev and here you can see that the activation script is right here. Just click on the copy button and then paste it into the PowerShell menu and it will take some time to load various things. So just wait and then a new PowerShell window will open and it shows me different kind of methods uh, using which I can activate my windows. And you can see that the third method that is TS Forge. This method is quite new and I have never used it before. I have used SVID and OHOOK and KMS to activate windows several times, but this TS Forge method is net. So let's try that in this video live. So it's the third method. So I'm going to type three on my keyboard. As you can see, it gives me an option to either activate windows, windows for the ESU and Microsoft Office. And it gives me an option to activate all the Microsoft products as well. So I'm just going to go with five. This will activate all kind of Microsoft application, which, you know, I have none installed, but let's see what it does. So I'm going to select five and then it recognizes that I am using Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTS radiation and then it will activate it. It recognizes that Microsoft Office is not installed, but it is trying to activate Windows now and Windows is now permanently activated. It shows me that so I can press any key to go back. So let's actually check the activation status from the main menu. There is an option to check the activation status. If you press the six on your keyboard, it will check the activation status of your current Windows installation. As you can see that this machine is permanently activated is shown. So this Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTS edition is now activated and let's actually check where the settings have if it shows me or not. So no, it is currently not activated and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot my PC so that this error can get resolved. So yes, after a reboot, I can change my background, color accents and all the things. So yes, uh, Windows is now actually activated after a reboot and you can pretty much do anything now from this installation of windows and you can see the bloat here it's also none right there is no bloat here there is only microsoft edge and removing it can cause a lot of issues so i'm not going to recommend it but hey it's your pc you can do whatever you want and let's actually see the resource usage after we have applied all the tweaks only 73 processes you know without applying the tweak tool we were at 129 i think and now it's even lower to 7 to 2 73 processes so it's amazing now windows 10 iot enterprise edition is really lightweight you can slap it on any kind of lower end or higher end pc and it will get support till 2032 right so that's it for this video like this if you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want more such videos like this and uh, yeah see you in the next one